My name is Ronald Lewis. I am the author of Stick It to the Man and co-founder of the Internet's largest shareholder, Revolt. In 2001, I invested several hundred dollars into Exo Communications stock. It was my first ever stock investment. I tripled that investment in, uh, within a three-week period. Suddenly, news came out that Trading was halted on the stock. Upon further investigation, EXO had secretly agreed to a leveraged buyout deal from Forstman Little. This meant that the shareholders' equity would be wiped out. I had just invested my money, my hard-earned money, into this company's stock. So I got together with a few folks online. This is prior to Facebook, Twitter. This is 2001. There were a lot of shareholders who were upset, and rightfully so. This was their money. This was their equity. And in a blink of an eye, they were going to lose it. So we launched exoshareholders.com, we being myself and another gentleman. We had over 2,000 shareholders owning some 24 million shares. I fielded calls from the Cayman Islands to the UK. There was a lot of interest from the media. The Washington Post wrote about us. We had coverage uh, all across America. And this, and this story is actually long forgotten, but uh, I wrote about it in my book because I, think, I, I figured it was, it was important to tell this story, especially for aspiring activists. That, this, the exoshareholders.com website was my first major activism project. I didn't give much thought to signing on uh, to this, this revolt against Exo Communications. It, it was just an automatic thing for me because, again, I had something at, at stake as well. Of course, not as much as some of the shareholders I spoke to, but I still had something at stake and I did not want to go without a fight. I could not stand by watching Exo and Forstman Little take what was rightfully mine because it was my money. Unfortunately, we lost the battle, but we put up a good fight. We tried to save those 24 million shares from being wiped out. And it is one of the earliest examples of the power of social networking via the internet and using the internet as a platform to deliver change. I designed the website and the other, the other gentlemen uh, took care of the back end of the site, the database. And we were passionate about trying to protect the 24 million shares that we were representing. These shareholders, they knew themselves that it was a long shot but we made it happen. I'm Ronald Lewis and I'm an activist. Always have been, always will be. I'm online at ronaldslewis.com and twitter.com slash ronaldslewis.